think we're recording. Just wanted to do another video. I've done quite a few right now, so here I stand. It is Saturday, and uh, I'm continuing to forge forward with this this really laborious project. I will I will be putting together a teaser trailer soon. Give it at least a couple of weeks of the you know because I've got a lot of footage now and this is my new camera so we're going to be actually propelling forward with a lot of it now uh, this is just a little preview I'm going to put forth right now of the uh, shot that I'm working on really I'm trying to fix this thing and get it going and make it cinematic, make it awesome. Uh, we're getting there little by little, that's all I can say. There's no effects yet, it's got it's gonna have effects, not yet. Basically, it's going to get struck by lightning right there. Those are all temp shots until we get our, you know, the effect work done on those. You know, the really spectacular, I can assure you that. Um, after that, you get shot. So, uh, no effects work yet, just me acting stupid, yeah. Intense scene, and then he goes when he walks home afterwards. So, it's a lot of shooting, and uh, I think I might get a shot today. Of uh, I want it, I want the shot to go right into his eyeball. Okay, and then we enter his eyeball, and we go into a parallel universe, and he gets. That's where his powers are starting to come up and and, and develop. I'm going to show you one effect shot that I really worked hard on. Uh, I, I can do this thing. I know it's possible. It's just, it's going to be a lot of work. I, mean, I don't want to do all that shit. Okay, yeah, here we go. Look at this part. <laughs> That part in particular, I had to put in a lightning effect, and had, you know, I strapped a rocket, a little firecracker. These are birthday candle sprinkler thingies, create a sparkle effect for birthday candles. I know why you do that indoors, but because that thing is intense, it's like it's really a, a lot of sparkles for a while. You know, who would put that? It doesn't last forever, so why would you put it? Anyway. I'm just saying, I put it in film, so it, it really worked out great because I can put the lens flare on top of it and yet it doesn't seem false because all the lighting is real, but the, the sparkling creates this lighting effect on you that's real, so it, it literally looks like the, the lens flare is making you sparkle up, the lightning is making you sparkle up, and that really, you know, if you want to make, if you want to sell the lightning being real, the only way to do it is to have the actual blinking lights on you, pretty much. Then it, it looks like it's actually there, affecting you. Um, I might reshoot a lot of stuff because I did this whole scene without this camera where everything is fisheye. And you can get away with the fisheye from a distance, but you can't get away with it from close up. So anything I did close up, it looked warped. 
So all those scenes where I'm, I'm hobbling along and I'm saying things, I probably have to reshoot that. I will reshoot it with a, a normal camera so it doesn't just jar you. It's, you know, the action camera stuff's fine for the effects work because everything about that stuff is, is him getting warped and misshapen, and I can understand that. But I want the particular parts to that he has some semblance of reality to it in some instances. Uh, and now we're just going to edit together the rough cut of this whole scene, try to get it down to a, an exact cut of where I want it to be, and uh, hopefully it works, because I don't know, can't never know really. Alright, so, am I, am I ever going to get a job and keep it? We're working on it, I have, I'm no longer working at the post, po the paper place, uh, I do not recommend working any kind of seven day a week job ever, just it's something about the body can't go functioning for that long you need a day you need at least one day of nothing one day of just chilling you know so I'm very envious of people who go work for five days and then get a nice two days off you know I think legitimately if we want a better workforce we should be three days off work for uh, four maybe add an extra hour on to the work day or whatever but then you got three whole days to relax and recuperate from whatever happens during that time. And in my opinion, that would probably be the better way to do everything um, in the work world. Give a guy a lot more time to relax and rebuild and regenerate and heal. So, yeah, I'm coming. I'm getting there. We're working on it, and I will be releasing it, and... I don't know, maybe get a hundred views or something. Uh, I'll try to get, I mean, I need money. I'm not going to lie. I want to get the YouTube monetization thing up and running so that I can make some kind of cash off of this movie when it's finished and people see it and maybe it gets quite a bit of views. I want to try to get some money from it. Uh, but I don't doubt it. I've been playing around with the internet for a long time. I've had videos that I've put up on my own channel that I've racked up nearly 50,000 views because someone put it on a website over in Asia where a couple thousands of people watched it. And it was just some stupid video. No big deal. But that showed me that, yeah, sometimes they do get popular, you know. Um, and if that's the case, if suddenly so this thing blows up and it makes maybe 50,000 views or something like that unlikely but if it does get get pretty popular what I'll hope for is that yeah I do get paid something you know they get they, these guys making these YouTube videos they're very very wise they're they're making they're jumping on a bandwagon that we all live in now we could never hope I've been making videos for a long time uh, it's not something that I'm foreign to I've been doing this thing for a while and yet you you just release it online just for fun. For me, it was just go to a forum that I go to, release a GTA video or something. Boom, no big deal. People would be like, that's pretty cool. You get a comment on it. That's all you would get. You wouldn't get paid. So the prospect of actually getting paid now is, is very appealing. Uh, and you can make a lot of money doing this stuff. You know, if you dedicate yourself to it. Like, there's a lot of people that are dedicating themselves to this thing. And, uh... This is their career, Quebble Webble Pop and all that stuff. These guys don't play. They make videos and they get a couple millions of views and the money that they're making is, is thousands of dollars and they're living very nice lifestyles and there's a there's a market. People wanna watch. I think my opinion, this video is gonna be very much popular with people like me, nor nerdy dorkies, people and I think anyone who's actually wanting to see a Static Shock live action movie ever, anyone who grew up on the show, you know, it'll actually go towards that crowd and uh, they'll like it. Because people want this thing. This is a demand kind of situation. People want a Static Shock movie. Hollywood is never going to make one, especially today. In Trump land, they're not gonna make a Static Shock movie, uh, so I'm gonna try to squeeze it out, get it done, and uh, hopefully, you know, under the radar, nobody really makes a big deal out of it, and uh, 
it, 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 it's, it's, it's a very good and solid little film, and it works. So, we'll see what I want to reshoot, what I don't want to reshoot, and so on and so forth, you know. It's a, it's a lot of work to go back out there and say, I'm going to go get my costume back on and reshoot this damn shot. Again, I don't want to do that, so, you know, I'm hesitant to go do it, but... I, I spare no expense. This, this project that I'm working on is probably upwards of maybe $500 budget so far. More than that, obviously. Uh, it's very much a. a it's going to be a complicated task to get it all done and situated. And nothing's easy about this. I'm, I've already worked on a shot today that was hard to shoot. It's a split screen shot. Those are never easy. I can legitimately write you a book on the complexity of shooting split screen shots. The, the, the way those are done is that you have to time them. So I'm in my head, I'm counting down what I'm supposed to be doing on the other end physically, counting down the seconds. And then you have to actually cut it together. And that's where it really gets interesting because as you did when in my case I took the camera out there I started filming I hit the filming thing I went in and went in, I started filming and then I had to change costumes over to the other costume but I didn't want the camera to be bobbling around while I hit the button on it because this thing does not have wireless so I just let the camera run while I went and got changed and I went out there and shot the other part but even so as soon as I start walking in and doing my thing, the wind is moving the camera. The movements I make and hit the goddamn handrail moves the camera. So now I have to try to warp stabilize the image after that. And the color changes because now the sun's position has moved. So now the camera's trying to refocus due to a different lighting complexity. And it makes everything much more complicated. Because I put it on auto focus. I think I'm going to, if I'm ever going to do this again, don't set it on auto. When you put it on auto, it's going to be like, okay, I got to switch to this camera set, uh, this, 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 whatever color setting, this color setting, this color, it's going to keep shifting it. So we're going to just leave it on whatever the hell landscape. I think that's, that's the best thing. Um, I always put it on landscape when I was using the other camera. It was just like, that was the cleanest, best picture you could get. It just looked beautiful. Um, I, I worked very hard on this thing and I had to do like oh, man I, th I thought in my head when I was just editing it I was like okay I'll just cut it big mask hole and feather a little bit and it'll just have two people in it that I played no not simple at all I had to color correct color stabilize warp stabilize the image because it kept moving so we had to do that and then I had to change, I had to cut another hole inside of a hole. I already put the mask in. I had to cut another mask so that I could get rid of the the, 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 the weird shift in, 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 in scaling because of the goddamn color, uh, the uh, goddamn stabilization process. So, and ultimately, since it kept, whenever the frame ended, it, it went back to the original color palette of the original footage. I had to fade it out quietly with the opacity level so that it just gradually shifted back to normal it works I mean if, as someone who worked on the shot for hours I can see where it's flawed someone who's just watching it's gonna be like yeah it looks a little strange but otherwise I don't really know what he did you know there's no obvious flaws so you know I've done this split screen thing for quite a bit and the first one I did way back quite a few years ago that was a chore to do because at first it was my first one and for me the timing thing was the problem with that it's just like I did not plan the timing properly and none of the actions look realistic and I seen the second one I did was where I had to dash down the driveway and all that that was just a luck of the draw I didn't actually time it at all I just did it and hoped it would work and actually uh, I had no I, I remember I remember thinking 
just I, I, never, I don't think I intended it to be what it was. It just worked, you know, uh, for whatever reason. I went down. I did my first pass as a guy with the lightsaber, and that worked. And then I just did the second pass as the other guy. I always intended to have to jump over the lightsaber scene and all that, but the, the the problem was that I never spaced anything or timed it so that when they were actually in the same frame together on top of each other, one of them would actually disappear. <laughs> so I had to rotoscope very little around myself in order to try to fake that that nothing was wrong. You could see it because I worked on the shot. I know what what the hell went wrong with that shot. You can see it, but it worked out because it just it goes so fast and it's it just looks seamless because it's, there's no change in the camera movement at all. I kept the camera very still and I just shot the shot in one pass. There was no pausing the camera just like and I didn't even change my didn't have to do a dramatic change of costume so that was the key to that whole thing so I think when I go and do the final battle I need to sadly I want to have him wearing different pants so he's, you, you can't just say all oh, these two guys are wearing the same exact pants ha 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 it's just, it's, it's just a joke but unfortunately I think I'm going to have to go down that road because I can't possibly go out there and change my pants when I do the split screen shots and all that stuff. I'll, I'll give it a shot, but it's like it's black pants and black pants on both of these guys. I might as well just wear the same plain pants on that shot. It's not gonna make a difference to it. I'm going way too long, but yeah, split screen shots are a bitch to do. A uh, couple tips: do not change to auto focus and auto all that let it be one thing when it's just I can see it when the camera's struggling to deal with the new lighting conditions and the new close-up when you go close up on this camera it switches to this autofocus thing when you have it looking away far it switches to something else and uh, you know I can see it, it's a setting changing the setting changes to landscape setting changes to auto so it's changing itself constantly and that's what you gotta worry about when you do that kind of split screen stuff so I guess I'll do a little tutorial stuff later on on how I do all of this a little behind the scenes stuff later on so don't take my word for it go to your local library Ta -da -da! <laughs>